okay. I'm hoping that somebody pray for me. I'm praying that somebody hope for me. Lucas Raymond was born on March 28th in 2002 in Gothenburg, Sweden to parents Jean Raymond and Cecilia, who goes by Sia Raymond. Sia said from an early age, Lucas loved hockey, and to him, the hockey stick was sort of like a pacifier. Growing up in Orgrita, Lucas started playing hockey at about three years old. This picture represents Lucas playing in his basement. He's always had a stick in his hand. Father Jean, who was a former tennis player himself, would encourage him and his brother to play by joining them after work. Lucas reflects. Hugh and I used to wait in the hallway for dad to come home from work. He ran up the stairs to change out of his suit, and then he joined us in the basement for an hour or so. We had so much fun. I even played goalie. There were a lot of battles and emotions. I can't even count all the fights me and my brother had in that basement. For as long as you can remember, Lucas wanted to be like his older brother, Hugo, of three years. Hugo has been his idol since he was little. He says the competition between them helped them both develop very much. It's a big sports family. Father Jean played tennis or football, and Mother Sia works as a personal trainer and dietitian. Hugo plays hockey himself. Hugo left Gulterberg's IK and is now playing it back in HC. Lucas started playing hockey at about three years old, but throughout his childhood, he tried a lot of different sports like soccer, diving, and gymnastics. He played soccer in Ogrite until he was about 12 or 13 years old, and Sia says he could have actually chosen soccer as his primary sport. From an early age, his talent was remarkable. He had a certain flair. People say he has a certain X factor that cannot be explained, and Lucas himself says that it's in his spinal cord. But he doesn't think you're just born into being a good athlete. You have to work at it, and for him, training was a lot of fun. Whether it be on public rides before or after practice, on the street or inside Ikea, he did it because he thought it was fun. Sia reflects that when he tried to start swimming in Valhalla, he thought it was very sad after a quarter of an hour because they didn't let him jump from high enough. Since the beginning, Lucas has been skating with Frolanda, one of Sweden's most successful hockey organizations. Around 14, Lucas quit all their sports to focus on hockey. He lived close to the local ice rink Wallenstam Sports Center and spent countless hours there before and after training sessions. He'd run into some of his Frolanda idols there, such as Johan Sundström, Fredrik Petersson, and Joel Lundqvist. Lucas was never a shy kid, and he would approach them, wanting to show some of his skills. He says Johan helped him a lot, and that they still talk on a regular basis. From 2014 through 2020, Lucas would remain in the Frolanda hockey organization. In 2015-2016, in the U16 Division I team, he scored 55 points in 20 games. He was 13 at the time playing U16 hockey. At 15, Lucas would injure one of his arms. At 16, Lucas would play for the first time in the SHL. In the same year, he went to the Holinka Gretzky Cup and made it to the gold game where he scored a hat trick to help his team win the gold. He had 21 points in 18 games in that tournament. He uh, was pretty dope that attorney. The following year, he only played nine games in the Super Elite League. He ended up getting 33 games in the SHL for Olanda and scored four goals, six assists for a total of 10 points. That summer happened to be his draft year. In the 2020 NHL entry draft, Chris Draper announced that the Red Wings would be selecting Lucas Raymond at fourth overall. With the fourth pick in the 2020 entry draft, the Detroit Red Wings are very excited to select Lucas Raymond. That was their highest pick in 30 years. When they drafted Keith Primo at third overall, due to COVID-related reasons, he played a full season for the first time at Fralunda, scored 18 points, 6 goals, 12 assists. Towards the end of the year, he fractured one of his elbows that he would get surgery on in preparation for training camp and the preseason games that he would kick butt in. He played his first NHL game on October 14th at Detroit versus Tampa Bay. He earned his first NHL assist on Tyler Bertuzzi's hat trick in the second period. His first goal came in his third game. He sniped in the third period against Jonas Corposalo, top cheddar going down the right wing, and he got a second assist in the same game. On October 24th, Lucas Raymond would get his first career hat trick against Marc-Andre Fleury for his fourth point of the game. He was the first Red Wing to score a hat trick 19 or younger since Steve Eiserman in 1985, and one of only three Red Wings to record a four-point game at 19 or younger. Steve Eiserman did it in 1984, and Gordie Howe did it in 1947. Kids got a million dollar smile. Raymond accumulated 23 goals and 34 assists for 57 points and a full 82 game season. Lucas said he was exhausted after his first 82 game season. So this offseason, he took a little bit of a break to start. And now he's training with his former trainer to work on his leg strength and his shots with fellow Swedes, Simon Edvinson. He's going to let his prime come naturally and that'll happen in a couple years. Red Wing winger has a really bright future. The Detroit Red Wing community is lucky to see Lucas Raymond donning the winged wheel. We wish you luck in your future as a player and as a person, Lucas. You may have noticed, folks, that the audio is complete garbage. If you'd like to donate to help me get a microphone there is a link below peace out